Hey Cal fans and welcome to California Golden Blogs. In today's video I'm going to take a look at our run defense from our game against Oregon. Usually when a defense gets gashed like ours did in the first quarter, the first place that people look is the defensive line, but in this video I'm going to argue that we had other schematic and personnel issues that led to Oregon's success on the ground. Chip Kelly and Mark Helfrich may be gone, but the Oregon offense still starts and stops with the zone read, and so that's what I'm going to look at in this first play here. Oregon's running the zone read to the right here, but just from this pre-snap look, I can already tell you that there's no way this ball's ever going to get to the play side. So how can I predict this? People always talk about the number of defenders in the box, but if you truly want to understand the run game, you have to look at the number of defenders to a side. In this look, Oregon can only get three blockers, the center, right guard, and right tackle, to the right side of the formation. Cal, on the other hand, can get four defenders to the right side, with the nose tackle, defensive end, and inside and outside linebacker. In fact, if Oregon's going to block all four of these defenders, which they have to do, then they're going to have to get their left guard involved, so I can already tell you that there's no way this ball is going to the right side of that left guard. This ball is definitely cutting back to the left, and so now we need to look at the left side of the formation. Outside of that guard, Oregon's got two blockers, the left tackle and the tight end, and Cal's got two defenders to use up their blocks. At this point, Cal actually needs two more defenders. They need someone to take the running back when he cuts the ball back, and they need someone to take the quarterback in case he keeps it, and they should have defenders in position to do this. Cal's moving these two defenders around to try and mess with Herbert's reads. We can see here that at the snap, Evan Weaver's moving to the outside and Deron Brown's blitzing off the edge. The idea is that when Herbert sees Weaver hanging on the edge, he'll know that he can't keep the ball himself because Cal's got a defender out there. This should force him to hand the ball off, and then we've got the blitzing safety to clean up the cutback. As we run the tape forward a little bit, we see Brown hesitate as he tries to figure out whether the quarterback or the running back has the ball, but there's really no reason for him to do this because this scheme's got Weaver on the edge to take the quarterback. Nevertheless, because Brown's coming from the outside, this little hesitation gives Freeman the lane that he needs to get upfield. We're going to see a similar execution issue on this play. Oregon's running the zone read again, but this time they're running it to the left. On the left side of the formation, they've got three blockers, the center, left guard, and left tackle, and Cal's got as many as four defenders with the nose tackle, defensive end, and inside and outside linebackers. This ball's going to cut back, and so once again, it's time for us to look at the back side of the formation. To the right of the formation, Oregon's got two blockers, and Cal's got two defenders to use them up. So once again, it's going to come down to our ability to get a cutback and a quarterback player to the right side of the formation. As we run the play forward, we see that Cal's actually in great shape. They've got an inside linebacker to take the cutback, an outside linebacker to take the quarterback, and a safety running the lane between the two. On this play, however, the outside linebacker overpursues to the inside, and what should have been a one-yard gain turns into a 13-yard gain. On both of these plays, we've seen a very specific weakness in our run defense against the zone read, and so as the season progresses, if you're looking for tangible ways to measure improvement or lack thereof, this is something that you can keep an eye on. Go Bears!